Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marcin here. And today I want to talk about Nintendo overall and the fact that there hasn't been a Direct and all this stuff because I've seen some people say that they think that this year is going to be a lackluster year in terms of later on because we're getting Animal Crossing and let's be real, that's amazing. And I think most people would agree that's amazing. And for me, I'll be happy if they just released Animal Crossing and they didn't release any other game this year. For me, I'd be content. I have been waiting for Animal Crossing forever. This video isn't about Animal Crossing, so I have to try to not <laughs> talk about it for 20 hours. But some people think that in terms of overall Nintendo games coming out this year, that it's going to be kind of lackluster because we haven't had a Direct in a while and we had the Animal Crossing Direct and then we really just still have heard nothing in terms of anything else coming out. I mean, we know a few things like the Xenoblade remaster and stuff like that, but not much else. So I wanted to talk about the fact that I don't think there's any way that they don't have stuff in store for us for later on in the year because they've decided to release Animal Crossing in March. So that leaves us no holiday title that we know of. And I can guarantee that there is no way they aren't going to have a holiday title. There is seriously no way. So whether we get a direct soon or not, they are definitely going to have a presentation for E3 where they showcase stuff coming out. Because one of the years we had Smash, one of the years we had Pokemon, there is really no way they're going to have a holiday with nothing. There's no way. And there's the rumor about that traditional Paper Mario game and a 2D Metroid, but I feel like they wouldn't have those two be the holiday titles. That's not to say that I don't think they'll do well. It's just I don't see them as holiday titles. So the only two games that come to mind for a holiday title, which I could be way off, but this is just my prediction, is that it would either be Breath of the Wild 2 or Odyssey 2. And I know that Odyssey 2 is not confirmed, and if it were to come out this year and be announced, that wouldn't be a huge window of time because we still have heard nothing on news from Nintendo in a long time. So if they waited till E3, that would be end of June. But after looking at when Odyssey was announced to when it came out, I guess this wouldn't be too different. The only big difference would be that we did see footage of the game during the Switch reveal presentation, but we didn't know what the game was at that point. So I feel like it's a little bit different. And for me personally, I just really don't see Breath of the Wild 2 coming out this year. I just don't. I feel like they're gonna keep fans in suspense when it comes to that game. And I think what they'll do Potentially, again, Odyssey 2 hasn't even been announced and we don't know if it's ever going to come out. I personally think it's going to happen, but what I kind of predict for E3 is that they would unveil Odyssey 2, give us a release date for holiday, whether it be end of November or sometime in December, and show another teaser for Breath of the Wild 2. I have a feeling that that game will release next year. And when you think about it in general, I can't think of any other game that they could potentially release for a holiday title this year. Because we know Bayonetta 3 is still coming, but I don't think that would be their holiday title. Metroid Prime 4, I don't think will be coming out this year, and for some reason, I don't really see that as a holiday title. I'm not saying that I think the game will do bad, but I don't think they'll make that a holiday title. I don't know. Maybe they would? if they really put all their eggs in that basket, because as it is right now, all we know is a title screen. So if they really try to push the series and they focus a lot on it and they really just showcase, hey, this is a game you all need to get, maybe they would do it as a holiday title. And again, let me please reiterate, I'm well aware that Metro Prime is a very well-received game. It's known as one of the best games of all time. But in terms of overall audience, I don't know if that's the game they would go for. Because if you look at pure sales, it's no surprise to me that Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild are way up there in sales. And I actually just looked up the best-selling games on the GameCube, 
and Metro Prime is at number seven, with Mario Sunshine having almost triple the amount of sales that Metro Prime had. And again, that doesn't mean the game did bad, and I'm not saying anything against Metroid, it's just, I don't see it as a holiday title. And I feel like I've explained this longer than I needed to, but that's just because I do not want someone getting the wrong idea of me saying that I don't think it's a holiday title. Because that doesn't mean that the game is going to do bad or anything, it's just, I think for holiday titles they try to pick and choose what they do strategically, I mean, obviously. The games that they go for, for holiday titles, I feel like always make sense. Pokemon made a ton of sense. And that game is one of the fastest selling Pokemon games to date, so... I feel like their holiday titles usually just always make sense. So to me, there has to be some big heavy hitter that we don't know of yet. There has to be. There is no way they're going to have a holiday with no game for it. And not to mention Metro Prime 4, there's no way it's even going to be done by this year. I hope we see this game in our lifetime at this point with how much it's been delayed and just all the problems that have been happening. But if you take into account the two rumored games, Paper Mario and a 2D Metro game, Metro Prime 4, Bayonetta 3, and maybe like one other that I'm not thinking of right now, none of those sound like holiday titles. And to me, there's no way that they'll have an E3 presentation and not show some big game for the holiday. We know Breath of the Wild 2 exists, and we know it's gonna come out at some point, but I personally feel like it's not gonna come out this year, and there has to be something. So that's all I really have to say about this. I just wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of people saying that they think it's gonna be a lackluster year, you know, not counting Animal Crossing. And I just disagree. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they have stuff in store for us. I just think they're being a little bit different than they normally are because we normally have heard something by now and we have yet to hear anything. So it is kind of strange. But I think they got some surprises up their sleeves and I think it's going to be an interesting E3 for sure because we really don't know anything right now. And it's weird because I can't picture them not having a direct before E3, but time keeps going by and we still don't have one. So who knows? If they did do that, that would be very interesting and it would kind of suck because maybe that's them transitioning over to doing less directs in general. I don't know. But let's not think about that. Let's just look forward to what they could potentially show us soon. And that's all I really have to say about this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this. If you enjoyed this and want to support my content, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.